What's up, everyone? This is going to be Rants R Us, Episode 2, Review of She-Hulk. Uh, with me today is my wife. Hello, people. This is Jessica. And as always, I'm Brett. And so let's just go ahead and let's get into this video. Uh, what did you love about it? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, love is not much of a word for me. What did you like about What could you... Let me, all right. Let me rephrase it. What could you stand about it? Mm, that she's a, a Hulk? That she's a Hulk. Like, I know you weren't... She wasn't a big fan of episode one. No. Uh, you actually thought episode two was worse. Yes. Uh, me, I actually had the opposite opinion, believe it or not. I thought episode one was absolutely atrocious. One of the worst television I had ever watched in my the life. The only thing I, I ever... Episode really two, I thought, was decent. Episode two was really mostly just... She-Hawk. She-Hawk. The only the only reason she got the job is because she's she hawk. And, yeah, she was and, she hawk. And you don't. I don't think that's right. Feels a know? bit cartoony. I'm not gonna lie. No. She gets a job because she's a green hulk. Yeah. Like at, to to and represent then, and, and then, and then, super villains. And then she has a contradiction with with the person she's supposed to be lawyering. Because yeah, because he tried, because she, he tried, he tried to kill, to kill his, his cousin. cousin. Abomination. And, and he's like, well, he wants to see you. And she goes in there, but she can't be She-Hawk. And then all of a sudden she turns into She-Hawk. I totally missed that episode. I, I missed that scene. I don't know how I, I missed I, it. But I, I, liked, I missed it because I was dealing with the kids. I liked how in that one scene when she's going into the prison... With abomination, and she tries to do this some kind of weird feminist rant, and the guard just blocks her off, and he's like, "This is a prison. Like I'm telling you all of this not because of any other reason than it's a prison." I liked how that was kind of cut off in that regard, because it seems like that's where she wants to go. This poor me, this poor me, poor me, poor me kind of way. I think that kind of annoyed you as well. Where she's just always down on the world. Always down on herself. Everything. Nothing goes her way. Uh, everything is, is, was, is the world's fault, a, not she hers. She was expecting was an abomination. Abomination. And he's in human form. And she's like, well, you, you can do that. And he's like, I have, a, I, can, I have a choice if I want to or not. Yeah, I know. I think about like, the only one. And you know what that actually kind of bothered me a little bit about? Was the only one that's incapable of doing it is the actual one that should be the most powered, and that is and Hulk. Bruce can't. Bruce can't even go from. Yeah, Bruce can't. Like, he, he, he can't, can't go from here he to the Hulk. He can't change like that. Mm -hmm. Like like she can. And yeah, so I think just, uh, so I think it had less to do with her being a woman and just for whatever reason maybe they don't get enough of that to be able to or maybe she. Didn't get enough of his blood not to, you know, to... I don't to know, but to be I, that way. I don't know how it works. I'm All not. I know is, is I like Mark Ruffalo, who played Hulk uh, in this episode. I thought he had a very brief appearance, but I think pretty much he summed up this show in general. She's asking for his opinion, but then at the exact same time, she's just telling him that she's going to go ahead and do it anyways. <laughs> and he just come to that conclusion. Typical woman. Sorry. Well, that's, that's the way that's she kind of acts. That's what we do. We we ask the guy, hey, will we? can you please do this for me? But guess what? We are having We're going to do it anyways. We're going to do it anyways because yeah. that's what we do. We, we are women. Now, I did like the way he referenced uh, uh, Al Mark Ruffalo as Hulk referenced in that. He says, wow, when I was, uh, when last time I fought uh, Abomination... I was a whole different person referencing when before Mark Ruffalo became the Hulk. Because those, I didn't even know those were movies were even in the MCU. They yeah, were like, yeah, what, yeah, 2003? Yeah, right now, you know what you're doing? You're going straight right over well, my head. Well, you've seen the old, you've seen the old Hulk film. I saw the original. Yeah, I don't know if okay, the original I'm, was I'm, the one that was fought with Abomination or if it was the second one. Uh, but I all know. I know is, is, I thought it was a decent film. I thought it was a decent film. 
But I just thought it was interesting that they made that reference, and it was kind of comical in that way to me. Because I'm like, I was a whole different person well, back then. And, and another thing that really irks me is that why is she talking to the camera? Yeah, that's something that really drives you crazy like, when oh, it comes hi. to that. Because and, and the whole time, the um, the other lawyer guy, the one that hired her, mm-hmm. the defense lawyer, as he's talking, she's talking to the camera. And I'm like, you're not even listening to what he's saying. And, it goes, and, then, and, then, and then all of a sudden... He turns around and says, what do you think? Well, yeah. I don't know because I was talking to the camera, it, so I don't know why. It, every man in this show has to be a douche. The the other lawyer that he's like, he's like randomly talking to her and putting her down for literally no reason. And then he comes the out. That, is that the one that gave her the, gave her the gift basket? Or? No, no. This was at the very, uh, when, you know. She goes oh, into oh, that restaurant yeah, and he's yeah, talking I, I, crap I, I, to her. Yeah. But then at the same time, he he ends the conversation like, "There's a hot woman over there. I'm go, I'm gonna go flirt with." And I'm like, seriously, like they cannot help but make guys just look in the worst possible way on these shows. Pretty much. I mean, that's the way I look at. It. And when everybody, I thought it was really funny. Her friend goes and she's like, I think it was, her name is Nikki or something along those lines. Our, our friend goes in there and says, they're chanting your name, they're chanting your name, they're chanting your name. And then you go in there and it's the most unenthused crowd you'll ever see. People are the worst acting that you'll see. There's this one guy that's behind her that he's going, she Hulk, she Hulk. And it seems so weird in that regard. Like, yeah, I absolutely it's, hated that part. It's just, I'm like, yeah, they're really, they're really calling for you. This is weird. And then, of course, they have to make all the little references to, you know, why am I called She-Hulk? Oh, I, it's because I have to be, you know, something to do with the yeah, Hulk. Yeah, but, but the thing that's is, she, she, she didn't really want it. She, ne- she didn't say she wanted the name. They just gave her but the But, again, the Hulk said, you don't really get a choice in your names. So, know, you know, he, it is he, what it he, is. And he asked her, he goes, what's your name? And he goes, oh, I kind of like it. Yeah. And I think, I, but I think the one thing that I actually did like about this episode, <clears throat> and I think it's the thing that saved it for me and why, why I probably like it more than what you did was because of the nostalgia factor. Because they brought back Tim Roth as Abomination, and I really liked him in that movie where he did play Abomination. I thought, you know, he made a little appearance in Shang-Chi, and they showed that at the very end. Yeah. And I thought that was, I thought that was really cool. Uh, I thought Tim Roth is a really good actor. Uh, I thought he did a really good job in that moment. He, you know, you know he's probably not going to be a good guy. He's going to be some kind of villain in the end. But I thought he at least played that role as being the sympathetic character to a certain extent. I wouldn't know because I've never seen him before, so I don't even, I know, thought, who the, I don't even know who the heck he yeah. is. I'm <laughs> glad that I they understand. actually introduced, and another thing, I'm glad that they actually introduced who Titania actually was because the woman that attacked her in the courthouse, Oh yeah. that woman, like that was the worst fight scene of all time. It made no sense that she just come out of there and absolutely nowhere and just uh, throws tables at the people. Yeah, and then know. you actually get to see, and, and that's another good point too, because you actually get to see how the She-Hulk, or the woman who plays the She-Hulk, what is her name, Tatiana Maslany, forget her name in the show. But anyways, she says, maybe I should have just let the tables hit the jury. Like, how selfish of a character are you? But like, you don't let people is, die she, she so they had, don't ruin your career. She had the right intentions. You know, she had to save them or they would be gone to their death. That's, you but know. But then she went but, back on it and completely because, ruined the moment. Because. Her life is ruined. Because <laughs> of what happened. You know, he, the, her, her boss said, you know, you lost, we lost the thing. And we lost the case. Because, and she's like, well, what do you, what was I, I, I did the right thing. Did you want me not to? She was just putting an ultimatum out there saying, did you want, you know, maybe if I let the joy get hit, maybe we would have yeah, won. Yeah, we would have won. 
Like, you know, is that really... Like, like, but, but the idea that you've got the protagonist even contemplating, she you know what, maybe but, I should have let them just hit... She even said it. But she wasn't saying it like that. She was just giving, like, an ultimatum, like, maybe I should have. Just, just, like, sometimes... I, we maybe, were, maybe you took it that way. I took it the polar opposite way. And I I'm took like, it that way. I'm, like, you know... I'm like, this is the worst superhero of all time. No, it's, and, not, it's not that. Well, she is the worst, probably... You know what? I actually like She-Hulk in the comics, but I do not like her in this show. Um, so she I won't say she's the worst hero of all time. She's the worst MCU hero we've seen so far. She's not a hero. Well, you got because me there. You got she, because me there. she doesn't want to be a hero. She doesn't want to save the world. She doesn't want to do any of that. But overall, she even said it in the thing. She I, goes, I'm yeah. not a hero. I don't want to be this. I don't want to be this. She goes, what did I go to law school for? I want to be a yeah. lawyer. She just wants to be normal, and she can't. That's so, the problem. So in your idea, when it comes to this show, the one thing that you do absolutely hate is, you hate when she's talking to the camera. Mm-hmm. And what else was it? That's everything about it. I, I, she, this I woman literally know. cannot find <laughs> anything that she absolutely likes about this All I know is show. that I can my, find my, little details no, listen, every now and My then. daughter, my three-year-old daughter, wanted to know what she Hulk was. Yeah. And I said, "Go ask Daddy." And she's like, "Daddy, what's she Hulk?" And Daddy has said, "It's a it's a woman who's green who goes grr." Yeah. <laughs> you want to watch it? She's like, "This she's is like, terrible." She's like, "I want to go watch it." So I had to get stuck watching episode two. And yeah, I'm but like, she oh. watched like what the and first five yeah, minutes. Yeah, she didn't <laughs> sit and watch it, so I got stuck. Like, oh, but o- overall, I thought the main protagonist, She-Hulk, was less annoying. And that's when she was less man-hating. She was... Uh, She's more into herself now. Yeah, into I, the She-Hulk thing, I guess. Yeah, I enjoyed the abomination actually, made up here. Now I actually want to see what happened to her abomination because he yeah. kind of got out of prison. Yeah. I want to know what... Well, oh, no, he didn't he, get he didn't get out of prison. He's still in prison. That was from Shang, at the end uh, in Shang Chi. He was fighting in these little fighting okay, chambers oh, of it. Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Wait a minute! You haven't seen Shang Chi, so you wouldn't understand. Okay, so when he when she's on the when she's on the phone to her new employer, and she says, "Okay, I'm going to take the job." And then he shows that hey, he's fighting he in goes, those pits. He and then he goes. You might want to check the news. Yeah. And she's like, okay. And she turns the news channel on, and there's a um, yeah. Was there yeah. escape from? No, something. I don't think he was escaped. Yeah, I think. he escaped. I didn't think he escaped. Yeah. I think they were just showing videos because she I, asked. She asked. She no. says, "Why did? Uh, why did? Uh, he? Uh, why did? Why did he appear in this?" Uh, uh, video like how did he manage to get out to be able to fight in those pits? See, That's I, what I took out okay, of it. Okay, okay, I thought that no, Andy, that because that happened in Shang Chi, and that was okay. I that was like I, two years see ago. That, see that, <laughs> now, I I thought I really thought that um when she went to go see him in the prison, she turned she hulky er and got upset with him and. He did something with him. Well, no, cage. she's not. She and didn't forget that she had got him out. Like he, he's still in prison. She's still going to have to be his lawyer. So no, that I was guess. a completely different thing. I but guess. overall, I, I would give this episode a six out of ten. What would you give? It? <laughs> Maybe a five. A five. Okay, fair enough. I mean, it's a lot. Look, I think I gave the last one a three, so it was, it was better. It was if this was the first episode, I would have been a lot more happy. Uh, I wouldn't have had, I wouldn't have been so down on the She Hulk. Uh, the first episode was just atrocious. Second episode, it has a little bit of potential, at least in my opinion. I'm still not looking forward to episode three, uh, so you know, I'm not waiting on it. It's not still it's one of not my favorite like a shows. Wandavision type thing no. where you're on the edge of your seat no. saying, Oh, I can't wait for the next episode. I think it's still one of the worst shows that M- that the MCU's put out so far. Uh, the Falcon and the Winter Soldier was pretty bad to me. 
But I think this is actually probably worse. Can I ask a stupid question? What? What's the MC? <laughs> this is why I wanted to get her on on these reviews because she simply has never watched really the MCU. That's Marvel Cinematic Universe. Oh. And so you're just getting like a from a regular okay. person perspective, not why a fan don't you perspective. Say Marvel? Marvel, babe. <laughs> why can't we just say Marvel movies or you now but, Marvel comics? But but hey, but over but overall, I would say better <sighs> episode than last episode. Uh, still not looking forward to the next episode. Still haven't really got into this series. But I, you know, I'll take any progression that I that this you show can get. You never know. This show might have a turnaround, and, and we both <laughs> might like it. We, I highly get, doubt. Get, get, but you never know. You never know. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching. As always, let us know what y'all think in the comments down below. Do you love it? Do you hate it? Let us know. And as always, thanks for watching. Bye. Y'all take care.